Tenora, 8th of December, 1909, Dublin. My sweet little whorish Nora, I did as you told me, you dirty little girl, and pulled myself off twice when I read your letter. I am delighted to see that you do like being fucked arseways. Yes, now I can remember that night when I fucked you for so long backwards. It was the dirtiest fucking I ever gave you, darling. My prick was stuck in you for hours, fucking in and out under your upturned rump. I felt your fat, sweaty buttocks under my belly and saw your flushed face and mad eyes. And every fuck I gave you, your shameless tongue came bursting out through your lips, and if I gave you a bigger, stronger fuck than usual, fat, dirty farts came sputtering out your backside. You had an arse full of farts that night, darling, and I fucked them out of you. Big, fat fellows, long, windy ones, quick little merry cracks, and a lot of tiny little naughty farties ending in a long gush from your hole. It is wonderful to fuck a farting woman when every fuck drives one out of her. I think I would know Nora's fart anywhere. I think I could pick hers out in a room full of farting women. It is a rather girlish noise, not like the wet, windy fart which I imagine fat wives have. It is sudden and dry and dirty, like what a bold girl would let off in fun in a school dormitory at night. I hope Nora will let off no end of her farts in my face so that I may know their smell also. You say when I go back you will suck me off and you want me to lick your cunt, you little depraved blackguard. I hope you will surprise me sometime when I am asleep dressed, steal over to me with a whore's glow in your slumberous eyes, gently undo button after button in the fly of my trousers and gently take out your lover's fat Mickey, lap it up in your moist mouth and suck away at it till it gets fatter and stiffer and comes off in your mouth. Sometimes I too shall surprise you asleep. Lift up your skirts and open your drawers gently and then lie down by you and begin to lick lazily around your bush. You will begin to stir uneasily and then I will lick the lips of my darling's cunt. You will begin to groan and grunt and sigh and fart with lust in your sleep. Then I will lick up faster and faster like a ravenous dog until your cunt is a mass of slime and your body wriggling wildly. Oh, good night. My little farting Nora, my dirty little fuckbird. There is one lovely word, darling, that you have underlined to make me pull myself off better. Write me more about that and yourself. Sweetly, dirtier, dirtier, Jim.